Right now I want to give you guys a look at this boss. It's a model BV9967B. This is an all-in-one 7-inch flip-out. DVD plays SD cards, comes with a wireless remote control, front, rear, and sub preamp outputs, auxiliary input, detached face, touchscreen with RDS, and MP3 and Bluetooth and audio streaming all built in. All for the low, low price of around 140 bucks currently, if you can believe that. 7-inch flip-out for 140 bucks. Out the door, delivered, shipped. That's it, pretty cheap. So Boss is not a brand that we normally stock and carry. However, lately uh, we're making a lot of changes. We are expanding our product line to offer a lot of stuff. Um, so you're gonna see more and more stuff like this. Not that this is going to be you know, my specialty, however, it is gonna be something that we're gonna offer because a lot of people just can't afford some of this JVC stuff, Clarion, Alpine, Sony Pioneer stuff. That's The prices on those things are going up and everything else, such as this brand, is going down. So you can see the reason why we're getting into what we're getting into. So what you see in the box, I just want to show you real quick, is this model here comes with a stylus, oddly enough, and I'm actually going to talk about that because there's a good reason. Full function wireless AV remote, remove case, uh, detachable face case, I should say, for the faceplate, removal keys, mini to standard USB with extension, uh, manuals in English and Spanish, there's your front unit, and I'm going to jump around to the back side and show you what's going on back Here's there. Here's a quick side profile. You can see that the actual TFT screen itself is really narrow, and that's good. And it's not cheap and flimsy. It doesn't flop around. This is actually really nice and tight. It's got a nice gloss black finish. As far as aesthetics go, this thing ranks very high. Maybe the um, piece here itself is a little bit gaudy for my, for my taste personally, but it is a detached face, so keep that in mind as well. I'm going to get a bit more into close-ups on the front face, the fascia, how it comes off, detaches, what it looks like, and what's on there when I go back to the front side. But for right now, while I'm in the back, I want to show you what we got going on back here. Now, this here is actually a detachable multi-pin plug. You can see that they're really not big on giving you a lot of wires to work with. But however, back here you have auxiliary input, video slave output, front and rear stereo RCA preamp outputs, and there is a mono subwoofer preamp output back in here someplace. So everything you're going to need to connect an amplifier, either for a 5 or a 6 channel amp, is there. Over here, you have everything you need for a USB. Over here, power and speaker harness, all plugged in. And it also has an ISO type plug down here for your European style, because this unit is European compatible as well as US. And it has your disconnect plug, so you can do a universal standard wiring type of scenario as usual. Up in here also it has steering wheel control wiring laid out built right into it, built in fan and this unit has a built in microphone which is again located on the front. It comes with this little sleeve and the single trim ring which you see right there. So now let's get now back here to the we front. Are back at the front of the, so of the unit again and up in here, this here is where your 7 inch screen is going to come on out. Eject button, this is your IR sensor for your wireless remote which is included. I showed you that there's a mini to uh, standard USB cable, however this is what it looks like a little more close up. It's about a foot long and that goes right up in there. Right here you have a 3.5 millimeter analog audio input. You have your presets, your play, repeat, random, play, pause, track up and down located right here, multi buttons. Up here you have fast forward, rewind, you have your um, AV multi jog button located right here in the center, your mode, your mute, release button built-in microphone located right here and your open button. Now, I'm going to open this up real quick just to give you an idea of how this thing works. Which, I will say, I like because it's nice and tight and stiff and I like to see stuff like that. I like to see stiff stuff. So I don't like to see wobbly stuff. But watch this. This thing does have a detachable face and I wanted to point it out because it almost took me out real quick when I wasn't paying attention. The screen is open. I'm going to hit this release button. You'll see what happens. That screen comes out like, whoa, viciously fast like it wants to just eat you up. So don't ever do that. When you're going to take this, the, the panel off, make sure that the power is off on this unit. So beware on that one. So I'm just going to put it back in there. Oh, be, behind here. Besides that, the reset button is here. There's a micro SD slot card right there for, the, for that purpose, for the SD card if you're wondering where it's at. That's where it'd be. Once you plug it right back in there, you see it'll pop right out automatically. Straight up, no frills. I mean, no option where you could adjust that, just so you know. Now. Like I said, this unit is really inexpensive. It's around 140 bucks currently. It does a hell of a lot, all right? So let's just get that out of the way. This is not going to be, you know, 
the top of the line flagship JVC review. But I'm going to tell you right now, Boss has a very good loyal following and I'll tell you why because they give you a hell of a lot for money number one Bluetooth streaming's built into there all the RCA preamp outputs you got a built-in radio RDS feature plays in Europe as well as US so they're actually picking up not only just the 80 million people in the United States of America but they can also entertain and actually market this to everybody in Europe as well so they just almost doubled their audience so big deal now First thing I got to say is not a good thing, but I have to say it because this is what I do. I review and I try to tell you how it is. All these little icons are shortcuts to um, different functionalities on a unit like loudness. Over here, you could tune your stations for the functionality of local or not. Um, your EQ, which is right here. These buttons function not like you would expect on um, an Android tablet like a Samsung or an iPad experience. It's not going to be as as quick, you know, with the reflexes when you touch it. You know, if you, what you're going to anticipate how you ch how you get the same experience on an iPad is not going to be the same you're going to get on this unit. Let me get that out of the way. And I think that that's the reason why they've included this stylus. And I've noticed other people had made reviews. Some people said five star review I love it it does all the stuff I can listen to my radio I hooked it up to my amp and I can do Bluetooth streaming and the face is detachable and I love that and other people hate it because they say it takes too so long and I think the reason why is because they're not making use of this and I'm going to show you for um, my point watch here key beep I'm going to hit on off see how fast that is now watch what happens when I do it with my finger See, you got to give it about a, a second to about a second and a half. So I think that that's the reason why they give you the stylus. And not only that, but they're also giving you this full function AV remote control. Okay. And it's pretty easy to use. And I think that using this and the stylus, in my opinion, is what they intended people to use. Not that they're going to put it on the box because then people will be scared and they run away and they want to buy it because they want to touch screen. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. I want that. Listen, it's $140. Okay. So let's keep it real. This thing does a lot. I'm going to show you real quick what it all what all is in here so you can see. These are just versions. It does have customizable uh, wallpaper and logo. There's your clock features. Some disc functionality. Some of the sound functions. Sub volume. EQ. EQ don't get too crazy. I mean it's preset as you can see. Loudness feature. There's all your video settings. This thing works really, really well with the stylus. I think it's just, it's just like a woman. It's kind of like, sometimes it is, sometimes it gives it up, sometimes it don't, you know. But hey, it does have a password, so that way you can use that in conjunction with the detached face, which I think is a nice feature for the right person. You can calibrate it. The Bluetooth pairing, I must say also, was very, very easy. I did it to my phone, um, and I'll prove it to you because I still have it on the screen. I went on there, and it's very different um, how to pair it than you do with a lot of other units. See right there, Boss Audio, Boss Audio, Boss Audio, excuse me, connected. You just basically go onto this screen here, wait for it to say Boss Audio, hit connect, hit four zeros for your password, and it automatically just works. I mean, that's it. There's no peekaboo, there's no games, there's no nothing. No show and tell, no card shuffling, just real straightforward. Works with the Bluetooth. The only thing is with this is that you don't get full control um, back and forth between the two units, which I've experienced on many other units. It does show you what's going on, and that's about it. So you can't get too carried away. All these buttons here are all laid out and utilized mostly for the Bluetooth hands-free calling. That's pretty much what they're there for, so know that. Auxiliary, which is going to be your uh, RCA composite analog input. SD, which is the slot I showed you on the back. Disc self-explanatory. This is steering wheel controls, and you can set it up there. USB, which I showed you in the back. It has the cord, and you can also utilize the one coming out the front, so you have an option there. Your regular AM, FM radio, like I said, tunes European as well as domestic here in the United States of America. I mean, listen, it's got a lot for the money. It does have a lot. Um, the screen is not awful. Um, it's not as responsive as I like it to be, but it is. It's a TFT monitor. It's true. It does all the stuff that it says it's going to do. The only thing I like to say is that it would, if it was a lot more compatible um, 
with um, blue with my with my phone. I have an iPhone 4s. It did glitch. Um, I'm not going to spend all day on it because I got other stuff to do. However, I want you to educate yourself. If you're going to purchase on one of these things and you have a certain phone, and you're not sure if the version is going to talk and be compatible. Check Boss's website before you do anything. But again, if you're looking for a really decent little in-dash DVD piece to play around with, this piece will definitely fill the bill. So there's my review on the Boss BB9967B.